Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Imagine if there was technology out there that could allow literally anyone to create beautifully artistic masterpieces with just a few clicks of a button. Well that's actually possible today and it has led to widespread devastation in the art community. In today's video, we will be exploring the highly debated topic of AI artworks and the various controversies surrounding them, with rampant plagiarism and art theft accusations to those wondering if artworks created by a machine should be even considered art at all, it's no surprise that the rise of AI artworks have left the art community in shambles. Many artists are split on whether AI art is the beginning of the end for artists' careers, or if it's just a new piece of technology that artists should embrace and use as a tool. I know this video could be angering to some, depending on where you stand on this topic, but I promise you that I'm open to having a respectful conversation about this all in the comments. If you disagree with me or you think I got something wrong, please correct me as well. I will be reading every comment on this video because I find this dialogue very fascinating, so don't be shy and share what you think of it. Before we get started however, I have an announcement that I want to get out of the way. I don't know if y'all noticed, but we are close to a huge milestone on this channel. I'm nearing 300,000 subscribers, and honestly, it's unreal to me that so many people decided to stick around and support my channel. I want to thank absolutely everyone who has continued to support me. It's thanks to all of you that I do what I do, so again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you aren't a subscriber yet, I urge you to fix that so you can be one of the people that can brag that they were a subscriber before we hit the big number. Anyways, thank you all again and let's get back into the video. Roll the transition. So before we get into the controversies plaguing the AI art community, I want to go over what it actually is and how it works. For starters, AI on its own stands for artificial intelligence, which for those of you unaware, is a machine or a computer system that attempts to simulate human intelligence and learning through algorithms and data. AI on the other hand refers to artwork generated with the assistance of AI technology, and this is done through different programs created for the purpose of generating AI artwork. These programs include the likes of Midjourney, which I have personally tried for the sake of this video, Dal E, which went viral earlier this year for its crazy memes, and Stable Diffusion, along with many others. How this practically works is that the user would open up one of these programs, input a set of text prompts into the system, and the AI would do the rest by generating an image that reflects the prompts you put in. For example, you could write Ghibli style San Francisco, and the AI I would generate an image to match. This usually takes about 60 seconds or less. The reason for this is because these AI programs have been fed millions of pre-existing artworks that have been taken from the internet, paired with their visual descriptions and aesthetics. With a huge catalog of data, the AI would then match the keywords you've put in to look for art that reflects them and then diffuse them together, creating a new piece of artwork that adheres to the aesthetics that the AI has learned previously. So to put it simply, you can basically create unlimited amount of new artworks in minutes just by writing a few keywords. To me, this sounded unbelievable at first, which is why I tried it for myself by using one of the AI art programs called Midjourney. Forgive me for the horrible desktop audio that you're about to hear in the following footage. I'm going to be testing one that is really popular called Midjourney that creates these AI artworks. Now you're gonna have to go on midjourney.com and then join their beta, which takes you to Discord where you have chances to create an artwork before you have to pay for it or something. I already did that. I joined their Discord and yeah, I'm just gonna move right on there. So here we are, we're on their Discord and as you can see, people are already creating these AI artworks by writing in their prompts. So let's go up and kind of look at these artworks. You can see really 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 detailed artwork of this piece that the AI created. This was not painted by a human, this was painted by a bot based on keywords that somebody wrote for them. Let's check out another one. This one is beautiful. So somebody wrote abstract decorative picture painting oil blah 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 and this is what they got. Let me write oh oh actually before I write I need to add a slash command. So imagine this is the command that I need. So dark skin magician girl 
digital art purple potion okay let's see what happens this is what it gave me these four iterations wow 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 this is the one that we asked them to upscale i don't really know what's going on in the face but the composition is nice i love the details on her dress i really really love these colors this is beautiful but at the same time as you can see it's quite vague as to what exactly is going on here uh, i think i would have to be more specific on the pose and things like that um to get the image that i'm looking for another prompt we could do is let's just copy this one and let's add van gogh in it you know what why not look at this this is crazy absolutely crazy <sighs> this is wild let's write something completely off the walls mm, let me go and copy some of the artworks here they've written i'm gonna copy exactly this one because like i'm really feeling this the fact that this was created by ai that's crazy um but yeah i'm just i'm just gonna steal their prompts i literally copied and just added a couple of random words is it stealing art if you copy somebody else's prompts and use them for your own wow i i don't know what to say this is amazing this is beautiful this is my first ai art theft <laughs> that i've done <laughs> because i stole someone else's prompts and this is what i get that's absolutely amazing. Wow. For those of you who was confused how it works, this is how AI works. And this is why artists are scared. As you saw, it really is that easy to create beautiful artworks without ever picking up a pencil or a brush. And the fact that this type of technology is only going to get better and faster with time, it's no wonder that many artists are rightfully worried about the future of their careers. In fact, this technology is already starting to affect artists directly, with AI-generated art winning art competitions over human-made art, and AI programs being trained to mimic artist styles by using their previous artworks to train the machine. Quote, Websites like The Atlantic have already been spotted using AI-generated artwork at the top of articles, a space normally reserved for photos or artwork made by humans and paid for." End quote. With the rise of such a powerful technology, the laws and regulations protecting intellectual property are falling behind, leading to growing fear that this technology will be used to replace artists in the long run. Should someone be considered an artist just because they wrote a string of text prompts into a machine that then generated the art for them? This is a question that many in the art community have debated over, especially after a man named Jason Allen broke the internet by sharing that he won first place in an art competition with an AI-generated art piece. He won first place in the Colorado State Art Fairs competition on the category of Emerging Digital Artists and beat his other competition without doing the heavy lifting. When in Required, Carl Duran, an artist and an art teacher who was one of the judges for the competition, said that while Allen's piece included mentions of Mid Journey, he didn't realize it was generated by AI when judging it. He still sticks by his decision to award it first place in its category, saying that it's a beautiful piece. Quote, I think there's a lot involved in this piece, and I think AI technology may give more opportunities to people who may not find themselves artists in the conventional way. End quote. This incident resulted in many artists heavily criticizing the ethics of AI artworks, especially because an artist called RJ Palmer discovered that AI algorithms can be programmed to mimic other artist styles, to the point of copying the original artist's signatures, only strengthening the worry that these machines run on plagiarism and art theft. RJ Palmer says, What makes this AI different is that it's explicitly trained on current working artists. You can see below that the AI-generated Image, even tied to recreate the artist's logo of the artist it ripped off. This thing wants our jobs. It's actively anti-artist. It's no secret that this new technology has opened up a new Pandora's box when it comes to copyright issues and art theft. This has caused quite the uproar, especially among the artists who have been affected, due to the fact that many of their work has been used without consent, and the AI art program never credits any of the artists it has used as a base for whatever work it creates. 
Naturally, this has raised concerns among artists because why would anyone commission you for art in your unique style when they can just get the same result in minutes with a fraction of the cost by using AI art generators? John Juarez, an artist who has worked with Square Enix and Microsoft, agrees that some companies and clients will only be too happy to make use of AI art. Many authors see this as a great advantage because this harvesting process offers the possibility of manipulating falsely copyright-free solutions immediately. Otherwise, they would take days to arrive at the same place or simply would never arrive. If a large company sees an image or an idea that can be useful to them, they they just have to enter it into the system and obtain mimetic results in seconds. They will not need to pay the artist for that image. These platforms are washing machines for intellectual property." End quote. Even platforms like Getty Images, which is a massive stock image library where you can buy and sell assets, has banned submissions created by AI software, citing that there are real concerns with respect to the copyright of outputs from these models and unaddressed right issues with the respect to the imagery. The fact of the matter is that most AI-generated artworks technically fall into fair use because the AI does not collage the images it takes from the internet. It actually diffuses and reconfigurates them, creating brand new works that yes, have elements of the art it used as a reference, but the end result is different enough to be considered transformative. This puts the artists whose styles were used as text prompts into a difficult position because they ultimately have no say on the matter of if their art was used in the first place, and neither can they claim ownership of the new artwork that was generated on the backs of their works. While this is a moral and an ethical problem, some argue that art styles can't be stolen in the first place and that the new images the AI creates are a valid form of art because they differ enough from the original work. People are pretty split on this matter, and I definitely want to know what you guys think in the comments. I personally think that while artists naturally copy each other by either referencing or taking inspiration from other artists' works, there is a difference when a machine does it, especially when that machine has been fed specific artist works for the sole purpose of mimicking it, but that's just me though. Anyways, with AI developing and improving so fast, copyright laws and regulations have fallen behind, leaving many gray areas when it comes to who owns the work that the AI generates. Is it owned by the AI developers, the person who inputted their own keywords, or perhaps the artists whose works the AI used in the generating process? Well, for now, the US Copyrights Office will not grant registration unless the author is a human being. It relies on old Supreme Court precedent that copyright law only protects fruits of intellectual labor that are founded in the creative powers of the mind. In February, the US Copyrights Office refused to grant a copyright for a piece of art made by AI, saying that human authorship is a prerequisite to copyright protection. This might be the case for Europe and US at least for now. However, a court in South Africa issued the world's first patent to an AI. The Australian federal court has also ruled that AI systems can be recognized as inventors on patent applications. The UK also grants copyright protection to the person that makes arrangements for the computer to create works. I bring this all up to reiterate that laws and regulations are split on where to land on this topic, and at this very early stage, only time will tell how regulated this technology will become. While current AI art platforms are not offering copyright protection to their users, it hasn't stopped them from profiting out of the works the AI creates, with platforms like Midjourney and Dall-E offering monthly subscriptions to those who want to use them, and stable diffusion planning on making money from their private models. An anonymous artist tells Kotaku magazine, some of these companies' current and potential profits are directly linked to hundreds of thousands of copyrighted creative works from all kinds of creative professionals. That alone is chilling, but to also have no way to opt out of these tools, especially once your work has been used to train an AI, concerns me as an artist very much. I know that the coming legal battles will change the landscape. All I can hope for is that the law will move quickly to protect our creative livelihoods, while simultaneously allowing for these new technologies to grow in a way that is beneficial to us all, not just a handful of companies and developers." End quote. 
Some are speculating that these AI programs will end up benefiting big corporations the most, with them monopolizing AI or technology in order to cut costs. Quote, Intellectual property will no longer have value for small authors, because you will not be able to make a Star Wars movie, but Disney will be able to use your work for their movie. If AI ends up being an ALEP of narratives, the ALEP is going to be privatized and shielded by patents. End quote. This is a growing fear in artists all over, with some declaring this as being the death of artistry, because while everyone knew artificial intelligence would someday replace certain jobs, no one expected artists to be one of their first victims. All that being said, AI technology is only going to evolve from here, which is why many artists have decided to embrace the technology instead of being intimidated by it. Despite the issues and concerns some may have with AI art programs and their users, it's safe to assume that this technology is here to stay. And while it has the potential to cause harm in the wrong hands, especially without any regulation, there is potential for it to be used for good as well. Many artists have come out in support of AI art technology, as they are intending on using it as a tool that can generate ideas, references, and can be used as a baseline to build upon. There are other uses for AI art programs as well, like that one Photoshop plugin that allows users to collaborate with an AI in order to finish art pieces without having to draw absolutely everything. You can also use AI to see what your rough sketches might look like as finished products by inputting your sketch into the AI art generator. It has the potential to really speed up artists' workflows tremendously, because rather than looking for references elsewhere, you could create your own and try many different compositions and textures before settling on the one that you're going to commit to. Quote, like any other piece of technology, the way AI is used changes when it gets into the hands of artists, not the other way around. A professor compares it to autotune, a pitch correction processor that was once controversial but has become a music industry standard." End quote. So rather than AI art being compared to and pitted against human art, there should be a category for it specifically, so that the debacle with the art competition wouldn't happen again. AI art has also opened possibilities for individuals who are unable to create what we consider conventional art due to a disability or some other obstacle. It has made it so that anyone can create art despite their skill level, and some see this as a step in the right direction. But while this may be the case for some, others have debated on whether the art the AI generates can be considered art at all. I went ahead and asked what you guys thought of this specific dilemma on my YouTube and Twitter, and was surprised to see the results. My majority of you were opposed to AI art being quote unquote real art in the polls. But when I looked through the responses, they were more nuanced than just a simple yes or no answer. Clear Jellyfish says, I have mixed feelings about AI art. I think it can be beautiful, but I'm not sure that alone qualifies it as art. Usually when someone is creating art, whether it's a drawing, painting, song, a dance, writing a story, or taking a photo, there's an intent, an idea of what the artist wants to create. Even if it ends up changing into something different, there's an intent there that I think is absent from AI art since it auto-generates off of words. I also think another necessary part of art is emotion and what the artist is trying to communicate, which I don't think can even be implemented into AI art. Although if someone's definition of art is just something pretty to look at, then yeah, AI art counts as art. Ember of the Exile says, I would argue it's a tool. A paintbrush is not an artist. A camera is not an artist. A tablet and its software are not artists. Having any of these in and of themselves does not make someone an artist, but like the camera and tablet, it could be useful provided it's not abused. Luna Rene says, I think people are trying too hard to invalidate it as art, and thus limiting the definition of art and calling other things that were considered art not art. To hard define something is to limit it, and AI does have an actual place on the market. Kelly Knowles says, I am beyond fascinated by it. It has a ton of potential for photo patching and other digital workflows. My only issue is that the machines are thought on images they don't have permission to use, especially when users are charged to use the machine." End quote. 
There's a certain beauty to the creations of AI artworks, despite the debate on whether it's real art or not. It has the potential to be something very unique, especially if artists use it as a jumping off point. When it comes to protecting yourself from being exploited by AI art programs, there are ways to try and opt out of being used. I recently hosted a Twitter space regarding this topic, and I had a pleasant time talking to Fian Art, who brought to my attention that there are projects out there building tools to help artists manage and choose whether they want to opt in or out of these AI algorithms. I recommend checking at Spawning out on Twitter, as they are working on making that a possibility. And they offer a site called haveibeentrained.com where you can check if your art has been used by AI algorithms. I could sit here all day and discuss this topic, but I'll end it here for now. I do want to know where you guys stand on all this, regardless of if you're in support of AI art or not. I guess my own stance is that I find AI art generators fascinating, but I fear that they will be privatized and monopolized by large corporations, rather than benefit regular artists in the long run. This is an assumption on my part though, so I'm open-minded to see how this technology will be used in the future. I do hope safeguards are put in place to protect artists who want no part in AI art generators, and that the program is developed so that you can see whose art was used in the creation process for whatever the algorithm spits out. This might be too much to ask though, so you know what? We can dream, right? But what do you guys think? Will AI art technology be helpful to artists in the long run? Should someone inputting keywords into a computer be called an artist? What are your overall thoughts on AI art? Is AI art real art in your opinion? Let me know in the comments. Thank you to my lovely patrons and channel members for their support. It's thanks to you all that I continue to work on these videos. Thank you to Okether, Heavenly Ash, Puddles Megan, Saint Raya, Black Wolf 275, Harriet Rose, Lady Kimono, Galaxy Prane, Ramond, Noah Smashy Smash, Emmy, Ghost Girl V, Ash Wetzel, Lil Artsy Savage, Nat, Jamisha Walker, Tenjinmon, Seiji Hito, Salem Smith, JJ, Ghoul Ranger, Isabella, Jiraiya Sin, Min McLan, and Glitchy Garbage. Thank you again to all my patrons and channel members, and thank you for watching this video and for subscribing and supporting my channel to this point. Is there any specific thing you want me to do as a celebration for hitting a milestone? Let me know in the comments, I'll check them out and come back to you guys with how we're gonna celebrate because wow, this is crazy. Anyway, thanks and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!